My name is Melissa Lopez. I have a Bachelor's of Science in Environmental Health and Human Development from UC Berkeley, and I am the Clinical Research Supervisor of the Early Phase Investigational Therapeutics Department within the Cancer Center. What motivated me to pursue a career in medicine was going to college. I knew that I had this deep fascination for science and also a drive to work with people and help others, but it really wasn't until I took my first uh, few semesters of classes that I realized that becoming a doctor was a possibility. And I felt that this career would give me the best of both worlds of the research and science side, but also helping patients. My ultimate goal is to go to medical school. I am currently applying for the 21 uh, fall semester, and so I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> so before getting my job as a clinical research coordinator, I did not have any training in clinical research. I had a little bit of wet lab experience working in um, an integrative biology lab as an undergraduate, but really a lot of my training came on the job. Um, my first few months were very uh, focused on shadowing my colleagues, uh, going to patient visits, uh, observing interactions between my uh, fellow CRCs and the industry sponsors. So I learned a lot by observing and doing. It took me a really long time, well, not a long time, two years to decide on what major I wanted to pursue in college. And so what I ended up um, pursuing was a degree in environmental health and human development, which looked at wellness through the lenses of public health. Um, environmental science, and integrative biology. I first learned about the clinical research coordinator field um, from a friend that I met through a volunteering opportunity. Uh, one individual um, that I met volunteering through the Berkeley Free Clinic pointed me towards um, a job in clinical research coordination. And the more I learned about the job, uh, the more I knew that this would be a perfect fit um, because it would give me patient clinical experience that I was looking for, um, but also, you know, inspired my, my work in the wet lab. I also wanted that research aspect as well. The uh, greatest obstacles um, that I faced in pursuing a career in medicine now and also as a clinical research coordinator was definitely finding a work-life balance. Even today, I'm learning how to manage my time of you know, working between eight and five and then studying maybe for the MCAT after work. One of the things that has really helped me um, throughout my uh, two years here is uh, you know, making connections with the, uh, my coworkers. And right now I'm in a study group with two other um, young women that are also applying to med school this year. And so I think finding the support at work it, it makes a huge difference in, you know, my level of stress and, and, you know, how I can manage my time. The steps that I took to get my current job was to look at a variety of opportunities that were out there. And it gave me a range of ideas of what I could do post-graduation. And so um, I think applying and casting your net pretty widely um, will really allow you to choose something that you are interested in. You know, the more that you learn about what opportunities are out there, um, the better you can make that decision on where to go next. What I like the most about being a clinical research coordinator is definitely interacting with patients and also seeing um, medical adva advancements play out in real time. I think it's a huge privilege to be able to care for um, cancer patients here, but also to you know, advance the field and you're seeing some of these drugs uh, being administered in patients for the first time. What I like the least about being a CRC is it can be emotionally taxing. Um, as you know, we work with a sensitive patient population and, you know, learning to, um, you know, work with patients that may be near the end of their life has been a huge learning experience for me. And, you know, these are skills that I will carry with me as um, an aspiring doctor, but it's definitely been difficult to say goodbye to patients that, you know, I talk to, you know, every day for a week, two weeks. The most surprising aspect of the clinical research coordinator role is the complexity of what it takes to run a clinical trial. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that I would be, you know, working with uh, eight teams, eight different teams in a day, whether it was the infusion nurses that are actually 
you know, administering the drug to patients versus the sponsor industry monitors that are making sure that I'm entering the data incorrectly. Um, it's great to see that there are all of these um, safety nets in place to make sure that we're protecting our patients, uh, but it was definitely surprising to see how many people are involved in actually coordinating a phase one clinical study. My words of advice for an aspiring clinical research coordinator would be to take and every opportunity that comes your way, especially in this job, there are so many resources to take advantage of, whether it's working with a principal investigator on a, you know, an outside research project or you know, attending a, a tumor board and hearing the doctors discuss patient cases. Um, there's definitely lots to take advantage of um, within the Cancer Center. And you know, ask as many questions as possible really get the most out of this role because it will help you in the future and, you know, as you progress in your position.